But why? I should far prefer to be a maid in a large and pleasant house than work from dawn till dusk in a cramped and gloomy office. Don't you agree, Carson? I do, my lady. Why are we talking about this? What does it matter? It matters that the people that live and work here are content. Of course. We should be helping Gwen if that's what she wants. I agree. Surely we must all encourage those less fortunate to improve their lot where they can. Not if it isn't in their best interests. Isn't the maid a better judge of that than we are? What do you say, Mr Pamuk? Should our housemaid be kept enslaved or forced out into the world? Why are you English so curious about other people's lives? If she wishes to leave and the law permits it, then let her go. Well, perhaps the law. is living up to your expectations. He's exceeding them in every way. And where's Mr Napier? He's gone over the bridge, look. Oh. And uh, what about you? Will you follow him? Or will you come over the jump with me? Oh, I was never much one for going round by the road. Stay by me and we'll take it together. You don't seem to be able to find your sister. I wonder where she is. Of course, she may have been cornered. I know there was some old boar she was trying to dodge. Uh, who was that? I'm not sure. He's simply ghastly, apparently. But he's promised to propose today. I can't tell you how funny she was when she acted it out. She ought to go on the stage. Really? <laughs> oh, how amusing. Well done, Mrs Hughes. Beautifully executed, as always. He is in the planning. Mr Carson, this probably isn't the moment, but I've just heard from Dr Clarkson and I've been accepted for a training scheme for the Army Medical Corps. Have you indeed? Yes, and I want to do it, so I'll be handing in my notice. I'll serve out the month, of course. Thank you, Thomas. We can talk about it later. And you couldn't have planned that any better, either. Right. See you in a minute. And so should you. We're just leaving now, my lord, as soon as we've got Anna. Here comes the bride. I do, Carson. Very nicely, my lady. Thank heavens you got everything settled. You had me worried. It's not quite settled, I'm afraid. He won't get off that easily. But you're happy. I am. And what about you? I'm so happy. So very happy, I feel my chest will explode. Mr. 
Miss Mary Crawley. Welcome to Liverpool, Miss Crawley. I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm sure I will. This is Charlie Rogers. He drives on Henry's team. Henry's team, is it? When I beat him into a cocked hat every time. Oh, he's just showing off. I'm faster, I'm younger, and I'm better. <laughs> but not a driving. <laughs> I wish there was something more I could do to be useful. Oh, just cheer, Tom. I don't have to be asked. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I can't even swallow. It's all terribly swank. Not the people will be used to. No? No, no, normally it's an oil-stained sandwich and a bottle of pop. Well, I'm glad to think we brought an improvement. <laughs> Thank you. I like Bertie, I do, but when you see them together... Meaning? Only that if Henry were the new Marquis of Hexham, there wouldn't be a woman in England who wasn't setting her cap at him. And what about you? Would you set your cap at him? Because if that's why you're not, shame on you. Oh, stop lecturing me. Excuse me. Mary, wait. Wait! Look, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I thought that I could present my arguments more effectively in person. Clearly, I was wrong. I can't bear to be manoeuvred. But you see, I think we love each other very much. For some reason, you're fighting it. I'm not. My birth is respectable, so it can't be that. Which forces me to believe that it is my lack of money and position that present the problem. Aren't you better than that? What? Well, it just seems rather small to me. Not to marry a man for lack of money is the same as marrying him because of it. Get out of my way. Am I not right? No, push in here into my home uninvited in order to call me a grubby little gold digger. You've got a nerve. Mary. Mary! The Dowager Lady Shackleton and Mr. Henry Talbot. Good evening, Lady Shackleton. Golly, nobody told me the nephew was you. Oh, is that what I am? The nephew? <laughs> you never said your aunt was Lady Shackleton. Did you know she was bringing you here? One must be allowed. Welcome. Evelyn. My hand is complete. Darling. Heavens, we are quite a party. Do you know Lady Anne Ackland? Hello. Mrs. Dupper and Mrs. McVeigh. Anne and I shared a governess, and Jill and I came out together. A oh, small world. You know Henry Talbot. Yeah. And I think you met Charlie Rogers up at Brancaster. We've met again since then. This is Mary's brother-in-law, Tom Branson. Hello. You were over here. 